everybody, it's Lon Seidman with the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder from Blackmagic. This is a very low priced way uh, to get video off of your HDMI or SDI device through Thunderbolt into your Mac or Thunderbolt equipped Windows PC. And we're going to take a look at this and then compare it to uh, its cousin, which is the Intensity Extreme that costs twice as much. So let's take a look at this first and then we'll talk about the differences. So uh, here it is. It is a very solid, uh, solidly constructed piece of hardware. In fact, it feels like it'll uh, survive very well out in the field. So uh, they did a nice job there. It has uh, two inputs, one SDI and one HDMI. You can only use uh, one at a time. So uh, for most people who watch my stuff, you're probably going to go with the HDMI uh, as SDI is usually used in more high-end equipment, stuff that I don't, I don't use and I'm sure many of you don't use either, but if you do, the option is there. And then you have a, a Thunderbolt connector here and a little light that'll light up uh, when you plug everything in. And that's all there is to it. In fact, you don't even get a cable in the box, a uh, Thunderbolt cable in the box, nor an HDMI cable in the box. So uh, you'll need to make sure that you uh, have a Thunderbolt cable at the ready for when uh, you want to use it. But um, other than that, uh, it is pretty much uh, ready to go right out of the box. There is some software that you should download from Blackmagic's website. I found they've been updating it quite a bit recently, and the newer versions are a little less finicky than uh, versions I've used in the past. So I'm seeing better compatibility with uh, other applications. On the Mac, and I'll show you this in a minute, on the Mac it shows up as pretty much a webcam. If you configure it properly, you can actually connect it uh, to most applications, at least I've been able to uh, successfully do that. So now let's compare it to uh, the Intensity Extreme. Now the Intensity Extreme costs about twice as much and uh, gives you a little bit more functionality. So let's look at the differences. So as you can see on here, we only have one input and uh, the Thunderbolt output. On the Intensity Extreme, you have uh, an in as well as an HDMI out. So you can take whatever is coming in, send that off to your computer, and then uh, have another part go back out to something else. So for example, if you were uh, doing live streaming, you could uh, stream it through the computer on the Thunderbolt port, uh, but also record it locally that way. Uh, the Intensity Extreme also has a breakout box, so you can plug in a big cable that has uh, a whole bunch of connectors for analog video, uh, and you could also do some audio outputs through there as well. So there's a little bit more on the on the intake and the outstream, um, but really if you're doing game footage or you know plugging in your iPhone or an Android device to just capture some uh, high-def video coming Coming over the wire, uh, this is probably all you're going to need. And again, it's under $150. It's a really, really great way to be able to uh, capture all that data. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to use uh, Wirestream for YouTube, which is a application that YouTube partners use to broadcast live. And I'll just show you how, how things connect, and we'll take a look at a few other applications as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do is connect this Sony HD video camera to the Ultra Studio and then to our Mac here. So the first thing you do is plug in your HDMI cable. So that just goes into the side here and snaps in. And then uh, you take your Thunderbolt cable and plug that into this side. And now uh, we've got that connection made. Now one of the things that you need to th keep in mind is that when you first get it, it's going to default uh, to the SDI. So what you want to do is make sure that you uh, enable the HDMI so that you can get this thing to work properly with your software. Now, um, we've loaded up um, on the computer here uh, Wirecast for YouTube, which is something that YouTube partners use uh, to stream live to the YouTube live service. You're going to notice you're getting audio here also. This is coming off the camera that uh, we have here, and it does, as you know, HDMI does audio and it does video at the same time. So uh, it will transport whatever it is hearing or seeing over the wire through this thing into your Thunderbolt connector. So uh, you get that up and running. And you should know that there is some settings that you have to go through here. So if we go and look at our uh, source settings real quick, um, take a look at our our thing, you see there's a whole bunch of different options. So you kind of need to know, actually you don't kind of need to know, you need to know what your uh, camera is putting out in order for it to work. So in this case, uh, we have a 1080i 59.94 camera. That's an interlaced uh, video signal. And I selected that and it pops right up. You really can't break it by selecting the wrong thing. It just goes dark. So um, you keep, uh, if you're not really sure what you've got coming out, uh, you just keep experimenting until you find the, uh, the, the lucky match and you'll uh, get a signal coming out of there. Now the mini recorder comes with the Media Express application and here you see it running now. And uh, this is exactly the same application that you use with the more expensive Intensity Extreme. So there's no difference there. Uh, it does have um, some pretty intense uh, codecs that uh, you, you have to use. So uh, I would recommend making sure that your drives are fast enough. And there is a speed test application that is also included with the package uh, to test those drives ahead of time. But 
um, on the Mac, you know, your, the lowest end one you can use is probably DVC Pro or uh, uh, ProRes 422. And you, you'll definitely need like a USB 3.0 drive or um, a SATA drive connected through th Thunderbolt or just running it to uh, your internal disks because connecting like an older USB 2 drive or uh, relying on a flash, you know, like a flash card, SD card is probably not going to cut it. So uh, just keep that in mind. So there you have it. It's the Ultra Studio Mini Recorder from Blackmagic. This is a excellent capture device, an excellent streaming device with the right software. Um, highly recommended, and it's half the price of their more expensive Intensity Extreme. So uh, if you don't need what the Intensity Extreme has, this is pretty much the same product, just with uh, less, uh, less outputs and inputs, essentially. Just make sure when you're looking for this that you are buying the recorder and not the monitor. There's a monitor device that just does output only that looks identical to this thing. So just make sure you get the right device when you're shopping. This is Lon Seipen. Thanks for watching.